Hey guys, Papa Emu here, and I am excited to bring you guys a little known game that literally just fucking came out and probably talked about on the last two episodes called uh, Mad Max. No, it's called fucking Let It Die. Uh, I might be in a bad mood because uh, there's just been a lot of bullshit that's been going on just trying to get this fucking ready. Um, oh yeah. Well, uh, maybe that'll be better for recording. I usually wait till I'm in a good mood, but maybe if I'm in a bad mood, that'll yield more funny. Uh, so let's load up Let It Die. Uh, I, a free-to-play game that I've been looking forward to uh, by Grasshopper Studio, our manufacturer, and fucking, you're gonna hear this. By Grasshopper Manufacturer and Suda51, who, like, I've always been a fan of, like, their game's... Not all of their games are gems, uh, but they're quirky enough and strange enough to keep my fucking attention. And they always, they always have their very, it's always very obvious when it's like a Suda51 grasshopper like game. So I'm excited. It's free to play. There wasn't, there wasn't like an announcement for this to come out. Like there wasn't like an expected due date. It was just, fuck. That's always so goddamn loud. I had to adjust my volume to half so that one didn't scare the shit out of me. Because it scared the shit out of me the first time. This is also 100% blind. Seeing as how it's only been out for like two days. But yeah, I've been keeping an eye on this. It said by the end of 2016 is when this shit's going to be released. Yeah, I can see it just fine. Which I was like, well, we're like coming. To we're in December right now and we're coming towards the fucking end of 2016. It should be coming out soon. Uh, and then right when I fucking stopped that one Let's Play, uh, in the year 2026 we'll AD, this. the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance occurred around the world, oh, splitting the Earth into four terrestrial masses: domination, war, disaster, and famine broke out in the four lands, and war. mankind fell. War into never two changes. In the center of the world, a single tower rose steeply into the sky. It was a great structure looking down upon the earth from the heavens above. What, the dude or the believed building? believed that it held the key to the future. It became known as the Tower of Barbs, a place at which one could come closest to God. See, like, look at that, like, th that whole opening, it's very unique, very indicative of uh, grasshoppers, uh, just kind of shit. So yeah, once Fallout 4 kind of, uh, I put the kibosh on ki Fallout 4, this shit, like, I went on Facebook, and it's like, uh, did you know it fucking came out today? And I'm like, this is some bullshit, this is some fucking clickbait, one on the fucking PSN, it's out. And I downloaded it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what, they can do whatever the hell they want. That looks like a fucking Wario face. I haven't even seen this yet, so I'm fucking hype. Is that is that mask like blacked out? Cause you not see. Jesus is still fucking loud. It's gonna. I'm gonna adjust it in post, but Jesus Christ, it's loud as hell. And I'm at like ten out of a hundred. I'm gonna have to adjust myself. Hmm. Another new arrival. Looks like things are about to get busy around here. Is that sexual? Is that sexual harassment? Are you sexually harassing me? Damn it, I'm gonna have to name this character Humongous. More- I'm, I'm thirsty. I have- I have a soda addiction. Not really. I just like get extreme headaches when I don't have like caffeine, so it's more caffeine than anything else. And I don't drink coffee, so soda's the next option. Fuck, it's loud. Boom, boop, boop, boop. Ew. Select a fighter. Okay, guy, girl, guy, girl, guy, girl. Well, it's humongous, so. There you go. Oh, oh, hey. Black guy, Asian guy, something guy. Again, humongous. He's just like. Hey, let's go that. Is that a barcode on his head? Not head. That's his fucking chest. Yeah, I'm down. We in there. Do I get to name this? 
If not, I'm gonna be pissed, and there's death skateboarding by again. <laughs> the first time I loaded this up, it took forever, but uh, luckily it's not taking forever now, which is also really good. That's always a common problem for new games, is that they load like a fucking slug. Whoa. This is your first time riding Line 15, huh? I know, it's not a very well-known lie, I admit. Anyway, this is the last stop. What? What? Runs fine so far. Okay, punches. Lex. My name is Lex. Ah, fuck that. Okay, R1 and L1 for punches. I can see my heart. Okay, so I can adjust what's... Huh. Okay, well, let's let's move forward just because it's... Excuse me. Okay, sir. Who did that? What did that? Circle. Circle? It should always be... Like, in terms of, like, gameplay, if you have stealth, it's to crouch. Or in, like, this kind of combat, it's to... This. Roll. It's, it's the best. The and it's super important. Okay. I forgot to mention. My name is Uncle Death. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. We're gonna get along just fine. You know what I gotta say? I got some pretty awesome uncles. So adding him to <laughs> the fucking mix. I'm down. I'm fucking down. Oh, I'm already- in, I'm getting back into a good move. Can I dance again? How did I dance? Okay. Underworld. Male. Captain. Login bonus. Thank you for playing Let It Die. This is Captain Ye- That's so you have- <laughs> Your login bonus for war has been- Your robot. It's free to play, so there's probably gonna be a lot of shit like this. Death Metal. I was cheered as this. Okay. Mastery level. I have no mastery. In anything. But I got punches. Okay. Okay. How do I get out? Uh, square to close. That's, that's a weird button to close on, but whatever. I'm digging the soundtrack. Yo. Oh, that's a nice- Welcome! Oh, yeah. Oh. How does it jump again? Oh, square is to jump. That's odd. I'll get used to it. Feels pretty good already. Feels- feels very, uh, Dark souls -y in its movement. Uh, especially with the analog stick. Very one-to-one, -one, which is really nice. Or pretty damn close. Alright. Kinda jumping a little bit, that's fine. Uh... Ikigara. Alright. Hey, Senpai, it's me! This device Oh no! That's fucking stupid! Can I change that? Oh fuck, that's bad. Maybe. Yo! Okay, left hand attack, right hand attack. Aim two handed gun. Jump. Guard and dodge. Interact. Move camera. Okay, so this is the dash. Is there any stamina bar? It does not look like it. Right? Yeah. Oh, my heart! That's the. Ooh, that's interesting. So when I do stuff, my heart. Let's go! You're 
first enemy is up ahead. So when I do stuff, my heart starts to show up because that's my stamina. That's interesting. And is that? Go ahead, senpai. There are three levels of punches. No. Oh Jesus. No. Fucking Christ. If your heart rate gets too high, you'll start to get exhausted. So take it easy, buddy. Alright, that's gonna get irritating because it doesn't look like the camera follows the enemy when you dodge. Okay. So there's three levels of punches. The third level for each one. Oh, not bad. That last hit was killer. Literally. Pick up any equipment dropped by your enemies. Equip dropped items to gain power. You know, the usual process. Okay, how do I pick it up? X? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> This has probably been one of the weirdest openings to a game I've experienced, but I'm down. Okay. About equipment. Alright, scroll down. Okay. So, equipment types, durability, one-handed, two-handed, death bags. You can store and carry various items you find in the tower in your death bag. Uh, left and right arm have three weapon styles. Use a directional button to quickly switch between them. Okay. Jump and shimmy up there somehow. That fucking voice is awful. Well, not awful. It's just that it's coming out of this. Is uh, my controller right now is awful. Like raid moves, techniques are stronger than your attack if you use these effectively in your damage in battle. Radiating, trying to deal damage to an enemy, your radiation will build, with this will increase in level until it reaches the maximum. When the rage gauge is full, press triangle as your as your attack. Then unleash a powerful rage move with your equipped weapon. The number of gauges used by a rage move depends on the weapon you're holding. Okay. Okay. Hey, up ahead, they look suspicious. Time for really? Some Do they? <laughs> it looks like a fucking raider from Fallout. How do I switch? Oh jeez. Okay, so I can't fucking rage. I'm trying to rage. I can't do it. Okay, dude. Yo. Ooh, coins. Okay. Although, yeah, yeah, that that's gonna get irritating. That it can't, it doesn't follow the enemy when you die. Director drill body. I'll put it in my bag or equip it. Oh, I'll fucking equip it. Nice. Okay, and then what do we got? We got pants. Nice. Beautiful. I'm a beautiful young dab. Okay. Armor. Eating mushrooms. Okay, never mind. It's not gonna tell me about armor. You can get kind of various types of mushrooms in the game. They have many uses, but here I'll explain the roles as food. When you draw close to a mushroom, you consume it quickly by like selecting the eat icon, which will be displayed. As when you put mushrooms in the side, they will be displayed in the flick box at the top right corner of the screen. I know unless you want to eat with a touchpad and eat it, making the right side of the touch button. Oh. That could be awful because the touchpad may great. <laughs> That's a game.
Ugh. Feeling pretty pumped now, huh? What? Good thing it wasn't poisonous. Am I am I Dalsine? I am Dalsine. Okay, so I'm assuming my right handed it's flashing red, the white hand or yeah. Right handed weapon, so I'm assuming it's gonna break soon. Gear elements. There are six types of elements, slashing, blunt, and using fighting. On tights, you can hold up to two weapons at the same time. It's important to pay attention to the type of armor your enemy is wearing and manage your weapons accordingly. Armor has defensive value and varies with type. It's important to pay attention. Okay. That's interesting that you can have so much. Uh, shit. I'll have one on my right and one on my left. It sounds like a good idea. Well, now what I want to see is if I equipped it on a different hand, will it change its moves? No, it will not. Okay. That's good, because it kind of cuts down on maybe something that could be really irritating. What the fuck is on my phone? Ooh. Oh, Twitch. Oh, fucking Ouroboros is streaming. Yeah. That's actually awesome. I haven't watched it in a while. Dean Damon. Wanna give me some of those mushrooms? Ooh. I feel like that's a trick. Throwing mushrooms. You encounter both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look at how to throw mushrooms. Choose a mushroom you wish to throw by flicking the touchpad to select one. You click the left side. Oh. Okay. Uh, yo. Alright, yeah, she's like naked. And super strong. And puking fairies. Fog? That wasn't how I assumed anything was, any of that was gonna go. I thought she was gonna be evil and try and tear me apart. Gortastic attack when you make an enemy groggy, that's when you unleash a Gortastic coup de, ta coup, coup de grace. Awesomely brutal, and you might even want to cover your eyes. You can, you can, your problems with attacks can make them groggy. Of course, this happens when your character as well. By approaching an enemy in a groggy state, hold triangle and press an attack button. Oh, is that how I release the rage move? Press triangle and then attack? Senpai. Can't wait to see your next battle. Ha! <laughs> you're gonna get killed. The fucking chorus, the dude fucking calls me senpai. Oh Jesus. Uh, my heart, my heart, my heart. Perform a healing bow when your opponent is knocked down. Whoa! Whoa! Amazing! Damn, I'm strong. Yo, I'm digging. Who's that behind me? Oh! Okay, little unfair. He didn't tell me I was gonna get shot. The one oh, and that's death. I like his glasses. I think I hope I can get some of that shit. Golf. Okay. <laughs> Wanna try again? Oh wait, let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, death from a fucking bug. That's what this thing says. Oh, totally radical! Oh my god. That's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa.
is uh, 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 uh. that's all I got <coughs> Thank you for listening to this voice guidance system. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the Tower of Barbs. All right. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Okay. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance. Of Earth Rage? The Earth just got the fucking pissed and started throwing shit around. Six feet. The equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. <laughs> Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. It's growing constantly every year. Is that them trying to justify like more content every year? Because that's pretty neat. The tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower and experience um, the many wonders that it has to offer. I'm down. I am down the clown. Arcade, standard, jumpiness. <laughs> Finally waking up. You seem sleepy, so I turned it off. Huh? I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> what? Hey, pretty cool, huh? Pretty badass. <laughs> it's the best game console ever, and this game, let it die. It's probably the greatest game ever made. Yeah. The goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top of the Tower of Barbs. It's like a hack and slash roguelike kind of a thing. What the? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, dude, you're a gamer, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. You'll totally be fine. Just try it out. Yeah, hey, it's uncomfortable. I'll set it up for you. Huh. Okay, all ready to go? Let's get started. What? I'll start the game. <laughs> yeah. That... What? Okay. I wanted to cut this, but I don't want to miss out. I don't want anyone to miss out on this shit. Also, any jumpiness you see is gonna be the game. Uh, I noticed that when uh, the when Skeletor was talking, uh, which is I, whoa. Oh, okay. I had to press something. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, Let it die, actually, because I am going to keep playing this. I'm excited. I've been a fan of these guys, and uh, I'm fucking down. I'm fucking down to clown. Alright, bye-bye.